if it continues the way it's going, it is most likely going to be a bubble. You're buying something that isn't tied to reality. It doesn't make a lot of sense, except it may satisfy somebody's desire to participate in some gaming activity. Welcome back to Investment Tribe, where you've subscribed because you want to learn all about cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and other digital assets. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and enable the notifications so you'll be alerted whenever we post a new video. For this video, we will focus on virtual lands within metaverses. These are starting to get some traction, and they might become the new NFTs in terms of the opportunity to make some profit. We will talk about their use cases or their purposes and what gives value to these plots of land. Important disclaimer, we're not professional financial advisors. We're just enthusiasts, so don't consider this as a professional advice. Invest at your own risk. There's money in these plots of land. Some even sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some even sold for millions. Fans of our channel may already know the purposes of these lands. Still, for those unfamiliar, you can use these plots of land for many different purposes, like setting up shop or creating a business within the metaverse. Meaning, you could sell your NFTs while inside the metaverse. The following purpose is that you can host parties and other social events on your land. Some major celebrities are starting to do this. You can also use your land to host an entirely new game, much like what Roblox is doing. Or you can just use your land as your own virtual home. You can pimp it up, make it gorgeous depending on your style, and just unwind. Much like land in the real world, you can do pretty much anything in your own plot of land in the metaverse. So it's obvious now that your land can be an income-generating machine. If you start a business and the people like your product or service, it can be a stable income and expand later on. If you want to host events at your land, you can have exclusive tickets that others can use to buy in the marketplace. Snoop Dogg did this in the sandbox, and Ariana Grande held a virtual concert last year. You can also charge people for the game you've created to unlock rare items or access an exclusive level. These lands are limitless in how owners can generate profit. Now that you know about their potential, we will show you what games or metaverses offer these lands that you can buy, starting with Axe Infinity. It's by far the most popular and successful blockchain-based game right now. It's a 2D card game where you can collect these cute axes and battle them with other players. You might be asking, where does the land part fit in with the game? Actually, they haven't released it yet. They are currently developing a side game for Axe Infinity called Lunasha. They advertise this as the homeland for these axes, divided into patches of land that users can buy. So again, you can use your purchased land to set up shop host events, and create experiences for other players. Or you can just create a relaxing environment for your axes. As I said, Lunasha is still currently in development, and once released, this will become the next evolution of Axie Infinity. Despite that, land sales are already ongoing. You can now pre-purchase land plots on their secondary market. There are five different types of land in Lunasha. We have Arctic, Forest, Genesis, Mystic, and Savannah. Some lands are selling for thousands, tens of thousands, and even hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. So they're becoming a very hot commodity as we speak. According to the developers, they are yet to release the full scope of the whole land area. So many patches of land are yet to come. You can follow the Axie Infinity official Twitter account or their Discord group for future announcement from the developers. The next game we will look at is the second biggest game right now next to Axie Infinity, which is called The Central Land. Now, this game is a full-on metaverse experience right off the bat. It's considered as what should be the standard for metaverses in the future. It's an online world where people can interact with each other using their digital avatars. All the purposes that I've discussed earlier can be pretty much done in Decentraland. So, where can we purchase plots of land for this metaverse? You can go to the official website, and much like Axie, they are sold on the secondary marketplace. You can immediately see the price and location there, so it's very easy for buyers. Some of the lands are being sold for at least $10,000 now. Some of the purchased lands are being used to create unique experiences for the players. So many exciting developments are happening at the central land. The third game that we will show you is The Sandbox. We briefly mentioned it earlier and I think it's the main selling point of the game. They are partnering with some artists like Snoop Dogg and Dead Mouse, TV shows like The Walking Dead and The Smurfs and companies like Atari to hold exclusive events and parties inside their metaverse. But what is the sandbox? So it's like the central land, but the difference is that it employs the voxel-style look popularized by the game Minecraft. 
If you grew up loving this style, then the sandbox might be your metaverse of choice. According to the developers, their goal is to let users unlock their full creative side with their land. So, to purchase plots of land in the sandbox, you have to go to OpenSea's secondary market. There are still current land sales and some plots are yet to be released. So be sure to follow them on Twitter for future announcements. The last game that we want to show you today is by Gala Games called Mirandus. It's an epic fantasy role-playing game. The world consists of five kingdoms or monarchs. It's open world so players have complete free will. They can go to the wilderness and fight monsters, apply and join with one of the monarchs to be a knight, or be a humble merchant in the kingdoms. It's entirely up to you what path your character must follow. A lot of people are hyped up for this game. I mean, just by looking at screenshots, many of us are reminded by old school RPGs that we all grew up loving. So we're not surprised by the fans' engagement. The best part is that we can do so many things in the game, and there's the opportunity of earning while playing. Again, lands are available for sale as we speak, but they are constrained, so you have to check it out as early as possible if you're interested in Mirandus. You can go to the official website of Mirandus and some lands are even up for sale on OpenSea. Those are some of the metaverses that we think have great opportunities or are starting to get some traction. Moving on to our next topic, let us explain why some lands cost more than others. There are four factors, location, size, scarcity of the land, and popularity of the metaverse where you can buy the land. Let's start with location. Think of it like this. You buy an actual real-world land near a city center. The price of it would be way higher than, say, deserted lands, right? The same can be said with virtual lands. The cost would be much higher around more significant areas in the metaverse. For example, the land is near an events place. You expect the value would be higher because more people will flock there during virtual concerts or parties. And more people means more business. Another example is if the land is near some resources that are crucial to the game. Again, many people will go to that area to hunt for those resources. The bottom line is, the heavier the user traffic, the more valuable the land would be. The second factor is size. Again, looking at the real-world counterpart, a 1,000 square mile land is more expensive by default than, say, 10 square miles. Also, if your area is vast, there would be more things you can do with it, resulting in heavier user traffic. And for the third reason, we have the scarcity of land. Basically, the scarcer the supply and the higher the demand, the higher the price. For example, a metaverse only has 100,000 plots of land. It suddenly became very popular gathering 1 million active user bases. You could expect that those 100,000 plots would be much more valuable, right? So, landowners can exploit this and assign a much higher value to their lands. The truth is, this reason must coincide with reason number 4, which is the popularity of the metaverse. It's not enough to just own a piece of land, because that metaverse should have a large and active user base too so that you can drive up the price. There's no sense of owning a piece of land if it's in the middle of nowhere. So, we think that aside from NFT collections, metaverse lands will become a very hot commodity in the near future. But there is still a big if. If somehow this metaverse has became what the proponents envisioned, we could expect at least one of this will become the standard virtual world. We imagine creating new jobs like virtual real estate brokers and managers. And remember those resources that we told you about earlier? Well, if you're a landowner near one, you can hire someone to mine resources for you, giving the job miners a new spin. But before we get too excited, there are still some big questions that are yet to be answered. Lands can be a great investment to have right now, but we are still uncertain of their future. But then again, everything in crypto seems uncertain today. So we think the best course of action right now is to invest what you're willing to lose and be very watchful of the market. That's our video for today. What do you think? Are you interested in this type of investment or are you already investing in one? Let us know in the comments down below. Well, that's all for now. This is Investment Tribe. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.